Yo Elden people, in this video we're at the Lernia of the Lakes, just before the Academy Town and Academy of Rey at Lucaria, we're going to be hitting up the Alaskia Ruins. Now here we're going to first make our way through the ruins to a centre portal and a mini boss, pick up some items in the area and a grace point. This portal will take us to the South Rhea Academy gate, so if you've already been here you might just want to skip to the Lakeside Crystal Cave. Now I tried to make this as concise as possible but it was hard to trim down and keep everything I wanted in there. So right here we've got the map fragment in front of us, this is for the whole Lakes of Alernia area. On the left here, in case you haven't visited Malefactor's Evergal, you want to head up that upwards wind portal, as I call them. And then uh, we're going to make our way over to the Grace Point for this ruins area. Now once you've snagged this grace point we're going to head over to the main ruins and we're going to hit up the portal. This portal is going to take us to an area we've already visited and already done all the storyline for this, plenty of content and videos uploaded from myself. It's going to take us to the South Raya Academy gate. Now if you haven't yet got the Academy Glintstone key you won't be able to access but you will be able to pick up the map fragment there. Now we've already been here so we're going to head backwards to Laskia Ruins and make our way to Lakeside Crystal Cave. Now the route I'm going to take from here is going to be from the centre portal or Grace Point. We're going to make our way southwesterly over to the cliffside and follow it along until we find the cave entrance. Within this cave we are going to find some precious items, encounter some alien like crystal snails, quite a difficult bloodhound night boss and then Lieutenant the Albanoric. Now she is going to give us her spirit ashes which do look quite OP, which I encountered this earlier on and I'm assuming there's further story or questline for her. Now arriving at Lakeside Crystal Cave we're going to make our way inside. Thankfully we are greeted with a grace point and quite a large chest for quite a small item but we're going to pick up that item and make our way through. Before we take the initial drop down on the right, we are going to travel forwards, pick up some precious items, take on a strange dog-like bone boss, and, uh, and then we'll make our way downwards to the boss area and Latena herself. As well, apologies guys, I couldn't shorten this to the desired length without skipping some areas, so I just fast forward. This is quite a long video, but it is a full rundown of the area, so do use the timestamps in the description. Be wary of foe in here but we are going to pick ourselves up a very cool katana like curved sword and a talisman.
Now we're finished with that tangent or cave section, we're going to make our way downwards to the Bloodhound Knight. We're going to first encounter the Crystal Snails, pick up some items, and then meet Latena for the first time. That's pretty much it for Lakeside Crystal Cave guys, we're going to pick up these three low tier items, take out three crystal snails round the corner, and then go through to the Bloodhound Knight boss. Fell tarnished. What do you want? I told the all hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I've no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute, I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do, even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol on the mountaintops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. The tenor sounding like Alison Williams right there will definitely be calling on her to fight by my side. Thanks for watching guys, if you made it this far do let me know in this comments. Longer than my usual videos, but thoroughly enjoyed this area.